it's been a while since I've done something like this. I was sitting here um, listening to the Taylor Nardoni podcast, which I highly recommend for anybody to subscribe to because there's just so much wisdom and gems that I feel, I personally feel like God downloads into Taylor and he sends them out to the world and it hits every time. Him and also Curly Nikki, um, Good Mornings or God Mornings with Curly Nikki has been man okay so here's the thing I for as long as I've known myself I do not believe in the accidents I believe that everything happens for a reason I believe that I just I just don't believe in accidents or coincidences and um, I've been on this nine day prayer surrender prayer challenge called Novena. Um, uh, it's a guided meditation I've been on with Curly Nikki that my good friend um, and sister really put me on to. And it couldn't have come at a better time. I'm at a point in my life where I'm making some, well, I, have to, I have some decisions that need to be made and it's not optional. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm put in a position where I have to, you know, and sometimes things can get just so overwhelming that you're like, you know what, Lord, I am fresh out of ideas. I need guidance. I, it's a throw up, it's a throw up my hand situation. And that, uh, ooh, let me roll it back a little bit. Before you know, things started to change. God was like, hey, I have a warning for you. Um, <laughs> and he, I don't want to say warn. Warn sounds like something ominous is coming, but more like, let me give you a heads up. So he gave me a heads up on something that is soon to happen or soon to take place. And I was just like, okay. Um, all right, now what? <laughs> and um, that's when I threw up my hands. was like, Lord, I'm fresh out of ideas here. I really need your guidance. And forgive me if I'm all over the place right now. So just follow me. So at the top of the year, me and my two homegirls, um, one of which I've already mentioned, my good sis, we... I find that it's something that we do now as of late. Like we get together at the top of the year, January 1st or whatever, and we talk. And um, the question the question among the three of us is asked that, what is your word for the year? And I remember my word was surrender. We're in September now. And as of late, I remember like with everything that's happening personally in my life, I remember that surrender, surrender has really been in full effect <laughs> as of late. Um, I've been put in the posture of surrender, you know, um, just with life in general, because again, I'm fresh out of ideas. I feel like I'm backed into a corner at this point. And uh, when I was put on to Curly Nikki, uh, her, her prayer challenge, it has been something else. It has been monumental for me. I highly recommend that you check it out. Um, and so in that prayer, she has, you know, for listeners, repeat. And she's praying with us, of course. And it's... The prayer is, Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. 
the take care of everything part is what I really latch onto because it's a it's another way of saying God your will be done growing up when I was growing up in the church the thought of saying God your will be done if I'm really being honest it never held a positive I don't know if connotation is the word I'm trying to use, but it never held a positive kind of connotation in my mind growing up because I feel like, oh Lord, God will be done. It's going to be something that's either going to, you know, I'm not going to like, that's going to embarrass me, that's going to make matters worse, you know, all this stuff. <laughs> but as you grow, or as I've grown and continue to grow in my spiritual walk, I've come to realize that God's will is really best for my life because he wants what's best for me. That's what I believe anyway. And to me, uh, saying, you know, take care of everything, it puts me at ease. It puts me at ease. Flipping that God's will be done to take care of everything puts me more at ease now. And um, gosh, I hope I'm not losing my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> why I got on here in the first place but I will say this um in the last 40 48 hours I got caught up and sometimes I do because life um all right let me just put it out here so I'm a flight attendant I'm a regional flight attendant um with one of the major carriers and to be quite frank it's been a financial struggle. It really has. And even though it's been a financial struggle, I've never gone hungry. I've never been without a roof over my head. The bills that needed to get paid, which means that some of the other ones had to suffer, but the bills that really needed to get paid were always paid. Um, but you get to a point, full transparency, you get to a point where, okay, Lord, like for real, can we get off the struggle bus, please? Like, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired, you know, the struggle bus. Um, and so I have been trying to get on um, mainline, mainline, which is like legacy carriers, like the Deltas, Alaska, United, American. Um, I feel like I'm missing one. But basically, those major airline carriers, they pay more. Um, and even they still have their struggles, too. But at least it's not, you know, like regional. If I were to tell y'all how much I make, oh, my God, you'd be like, Taj, what in the world? But out of all the jobs that I've had, and I've had a lot of jobs, I really enjoy this one because, one, I love serving people. I love helping people. I enjoy, of course, going to different places all the time, but really I enjoy connecting with people, even if I see them for that short time and never see them again. And in somehow, in some way, God uses me to make an impact, or even if I'm just smiling, which I, by default, I can't help myself, I am a smiler, um, just makes an impact in some way, you know? Um, anyway, so I, yeah, getting back to the flight attendant. So I've been trying to get for nearly 10 years. And yesterday was my final time. I told myself <clears throat> after many times of trying, and I've only had two face-to-face -face interviews with them in a span of 10 years. Um, and I said, I'm going to apply one last time. And if I don't get through, that's it. Sometimes you got to know when to cut your losses. You got to know when to fold them, okay? And, you know, I was irritated. You know, I was. But I did say, I said, this is it. If I get the thumbs down, I'm not applying no more. Y'all can have it because my thing is this. Y'all are passing up on greatness and y'all don't even realize it. You know, I'm really good at my job and I love it. And because I love it, that makes me even better at it. So, anywho, 
But here's the thing. Uh, what's today? September 8th? September 6th was the anniversary, two-year anniversary of me becoming a flight attendant. And on the anniversary of me being a flight attendant, I received a face-to-face -face invitation to uh, and it's so funny because when I got it I was like oh because I was in the process of interviewing them anyway and I had my one-on-one -on -one with one of the the high the folks in the hiring team it was a virtual and she told me that I would hear something in a week right whether I get invited to the face-to-face -face or not so and that happened on the fifth what yeah was it the fifth was it fourth? wait 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 let me look at my calendar sorry wait i gotta look when did that happen uh yeah that happened on the fifth okay <laughs> she told me a week all right so when i got it the very next day i'm like oh if I'm being honest, and I am, full, full transparency here, as transparent as possible, I sent a message to, my, to a friend of mine saying, yeah, so on this day, the 6th, because remember, the one-on-one -on -one happened on the 5th. On the 6th, I said, on this day, the anniversary, me, the anniversary of me becoming a flight attendant, I received an invite to face-to-face. -face. And the person said in big caps, are you excited? And I responded, I said, I'm grateful. But at the same time, all I want, and truly, truly, I want what God wants for me. And what that may look like, I have no idea. And right now it's looking like And I'm okay with that. I am. Could it be? It could be. Because I still have to get through the interview. We don't know if they're going to offer me a CJO. So, but here's where I got caught up. I mentioned earlier in the video I got caught up. Here's where I got caught up. So, talking to different people, people that I know who have either, who are currently working, who have people who work over there and i hear different things i hear you know the yays and i hear the nays and i felt like i kept hearing more of the nays um and with everything that's going on in the news in terms of what's happening with them right now there's all of that and i started to get kept, caught up in the melee of all of that information and i had to refer back to my novena I had to stop and say you know what Taj one everybody's experience is their own two you've already surrendered this whole situation to God leave it leave it cancel the noise trust God for it all where you're supposed to be you will be period so, I don't know, I got on here just to talk because I got inspired by, by Taylor listening to him and he, he's supposed to be recording season three um, in terms of a visual and it just made me just, my creative itch was itching so I was like, let me go ahead and scratch and hit play. But I said all that to say that in spite of everything that I'm sitting in the middle of right now, um, I can't listen to the noise. I can't. And sometimes you just got to remind yourself to cancel everything out. Trust God for it all. And let him take care of everything. And he will. And he does. So, I don't know what's going to happen. 
The space to phase is September 18th. We'll see how this unfolds. And yeah, that's all I got. So to you, whatever is going on with you, whatever is happening in your life, and it looks like things are spiraling, and they probably are, cancel the noise. Trust God. He's going to take care of it. I'm telling you. And what I always remind myself is hmm, his plans far exceed what I could possibly imagine for myself. For real. He's done it before. I have evidence. And maybe I'll jump on and talk about even those things. But it, trust me, far exceeds what you can possibly imagine. And that's that. I need to get up and stretch.